Hello everyone, this is Shishi. Today we are making the Minion gift card holder or it can be an invitation to a kid's birthday party. You can even make it into a tag for a gift bag. So this is how he looks and this is what happens when you slide the little gift card inside. I will show you how to make the little gift card holder without the little notcher. This is the notcher that I use to make the gift card holder. And I do have a video on how to use the notcher. So I won't show that in this video, but I'll show you how to make the gift card holder without the notcher because I know a lot of people don't have the notcher. So what you'll need is a sheet of cardstock cut at six inches by five inches and you'll score down the middle at the three inch mark so that's what I'm going to do right now while I'm talking and what you'll need also is a strip of blue cardstock cut at um, well we're going to cut this off at the three inch mark but it's going to be cut in width at um, three-fourths of an inch this is for his little overalls You'll need a square cut at one and a half by one and a half. Some little googly eyes. I got these at the Dollar Tree. It's the biggest googly eye in the little variety pack of googly eyes. Now this little circle, I'm sorry I don't know the size because I didn't have a circle big enough. So I had to trace around my die to get this to go over, um, to get the uh, googly eye to go over the um, circle so I don't know the size unfortunately this is the little pocket that comes out of the bits from the big alphabet punch board so this is what we're using today the big boy so this is the little bit that comes out if you're making the gift card holder you'll need to punch out two additional bits so there you go now if you're making the gift card holder this is what you'll need it's three inches by two and three fourths of an inch uh, give or take or two and a half I'll say two and a half and then you'll need yellow cut at three inches by five inches for his head and that's about it and you'll need like a black marker for his face you know to cut that in you'll need like a little strip you can judge how thick you want it I did about a quarter of an inch wide and then it's of course going to be three inches long and I'm going to cut this because it's just easier when you cut it after you glued it and then the signal pen uh, I do faux stitching around the little square for his overalls and I do have some little buttons here that I used to punch out and I got this from this little hole puncher is the 3 16th of an inch from that. So I'm going to get started here. I've already scored my cardstock. I'm going to do a double punch at the corner rounder. So I wouldn't use anything really thick like 110 pound weight because it's really hard to punch through two layers. This is a 60 pound weight. So I'm going to have to stand up to do the punch because I need both hands. So I'm just going to stick this in right here and give it a punch at the top. And then I'm going to punch it again on the other side. Hope you can see where I'm punching. And punch it again. And this is what I get. Give it a punch. I've already pre-punched the other pieces that come out of this punch right here. So I'm going to take the board away because I do not need it after that. Okay, and then I'm going to take away the little bits. Okay, so after that, um, you need glue to glue on the piece. You can use tape if you like. So I'm just going to glue on his head. Oh, 
This one should be really easy to put together. And again, you can make these little kids invitations as well if you're having a birthday party that's minion themed. These are really easy. Then we're going to start on his little clothing. So I'm just going to glue on the strip. And then I'm just going to trim off the extra. It's really easy to put this one together. Okay, there you go. And then here's the one and a half inch square. And for the faux stitching, you just use the white jelly roll pen or whatever you have and do some lines around the square. So you just eyeball it and get it about in the middle like that. Then we'll glue on this little pocket. Then we'll put on these little buttons. I'll just put some little glue drops right here. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and start gluing the eyes onto the little circle and set that aside to dry and try to center it as best as you can Then we'll do the little strip for the goggles, the little band. And we'll trim off the extra. Okay, this is what we have so far. Then for the eyes, I'm going to glue on one, and then you're going to kind of overlap the goggles. This is what I have so far. Then you get out your marker and draw in the little straps. Then give them a smile. And then some little hairs. And 
and there is the minion right there. It's all complete. Now, if you want to make this a gift card holder, what I have done is punched out one bit right here and what we can do is get our little gift card and what you would do is then take the gift card measure it out and take the bit right here and just glue at the top right here and you can do it up and down or side by side it's up to you how you want the gift card to, to, to be in there it could be like this or you can have it top and bottom okay we're going to glue on the second little tab put more glue on here just let that dry and then you just place it inside the gift card holder just like that with some tape or glue And you can just slide in your gift card. If it's just like that. And there you go. Are so cute and adorable. Or you can just uh, do the one eye instead of two. So. Take care, everyone. Have a fabulous day.